In an interview by Flight Global, officials from Saab have confirmed that they are in talks with several South American, Asian and European countries including the Philippines as they offer the latest JAS 39E F Gripen for their fighter aircraft needs. Max Defense PH believes that Saab's offer of the latest JAS 39E F Gripen to the Philippines falls short of the minimum requirement of 12 fighters under the current multi-role fighter acquisition project. The Gripen EF offer is more to meet the Philippine Air Force's requirements for at least two more squadrons of new multi rol fighters planned to be purchased in the next 10 years but after the current MRF acquisition project. In contrast, Saab's current bid for the MRF acquisition project will still be the older PES-39C D Gripen with upgrades. This is to meet the PAF's urgent need to have some fighters available within a year of the completion of the deal. According to sources, one of the reasons why the Gripen CD was chosen by the PAF was because of its fast delivery time. Saab could not commit to the same delivery time frame if the PAF were to opt for the more expensive Gripen EF, as production for the Swedish Air Force is slow and has not yet picked up speed due to a lack of orders apart from Brazil, which will have their Gripen S assembled in Brazil by Embraer. Saab's JAS 39E F Gripen is expected to compete with offerings from Dassault Aviation, Rafale F4, Lockheed Martin, F16 Block 7070 Seconds Viper, Korea Arigantara Industry, KF21 Borame, Bay Systems, EF2000 Eurofighter, and Boeing, F15 X Eagle II, for the second batch of MRFs for the PAF. Swedish airframer Saab is looking to expand the customer base for its Gripen fighter, pursuing sales opportunities around the world. While orders from Brazil and the company's home country of Sweden are anchoring the program, Saab is also in discussions with militaries elsewhere in Europe, South America and Asia regarding the latest Gripen E variant. Saab officials, speaking on 21 February, revealed the airframer is in talks with governments in Peru, Colombia, Thailand, the Philippines and Austria to offer the Gripen E as a replacement for existing fighter fleets. The Swedish manufacturer is also pursuing life cycle extension and sustainment opportunities for legacy Gripen C D operators including the Czech Republic, Hungary and South Africa. Brazil also appears likely to add to its current order for 36 Gripen E Fs, particularly following the 2023 launch of an Embraer partnered Gripen assembly plant in Gavial Pixoto. Their requirement is much more than 36, says Michael Franzen, Saab's chief marketing officer for the Gripen program. Worldwide there are currently 21 operational Gripen S, including test models. The single-seat fighters are spilled between Brazil and Sweden, the only operators of the type at present. Franzen says Saab made improvements to every system in the older Gripen C, D models under the Gripen E design program. Notable examples include an advanced electronic warfare system and the ability to carry three additional air-to-air -air missiles in a new underbelly station, on top of the four existing underwing pylons. There are also unspecified improvements to the current GE Aerospace F404 engine, locally designated the ERN-12 and built in conjunction with GKN Aerospace. Saab currently has 35 jets in production, with plans to deliver the seventh operational fighter to Brazil and sixth example to Sweden in the near future. Final assembly of the first of eight two-seat Gripen Fs for Brazil has also begun. Saab describes the South American country as the lead operator of the Gripen E. This is the first time in any fighter program where the lead operator has not been the home nation, says a company representative. Brazil is taking it into service first and doing an awful lot of the research and development on the airplane ahead of Sweden the source adds. The Embraer-run Gripen assembly site in Brazil is configured for an annual production of eight aircraft. Franzen says Saab may consider investments to boost that capacity, particularly if new orders materialize in South America.